an infant's capacity to learn is extremely powerful, and quite a few parents hope to use that ability to develop their child's foreign language abilities. But can babies who have not yet learned to speak absorb a foreign language? Through a series of experiments, National Taiwan University professor Cao Fengming discovered that children as young as nine months old do indeed quickly pick up foreign languages, but once removed from the environment, their skills also quickly deteriorate. Within the soundproof room, speakers emit sounds, which quickly attract the attention of the infants who are brought in. Toys are next brought out to distract the children from the noises emanating from the speakers. And when the speakers next emit sounds, if the D and the the change sounds, then if the child notices there is a difference, we predict that they will look in the direction of the speakers. So at that time, if she turns her head, then that shows she has heard the difference in the sounds. These methods prove that this little 10-month-old girl can easily distinguish the subtle differences in sounds from a foreign language. This chart shows that before the class, the children can't really distinguish between the English sounds. But after the class, these children, even though they're Taiwanese kids, after these classes, they can distinguish more clearly between the sounds. But to get the children to look, a reward is needed. The speaker boxes light up with a colorful dancing display every time the sounds change. This experiment starts when children are nine months old and continues for about a month. Each session begins with a class in English, but since the infants can't yet speak, it focuses only on listening skills. Later on, the mother takes the infant to another room, where a pre-recorded English teacher relates a story by computer. I'm here to eat you for lunch and my mid-afternoon snack. Mm -hmm. So regardless if it's live people or recorded display, simply by hearing English spoken, these children's foreign language skills are improving. But research has shown that one-on-one -on -one instruction with a live teacher gives more improvement. Yet a month later, <laughs> In a month, they might have changed and have discovered that these different sounds are different. But though these children learn very quickly, they also might forget quite quickly. So as soon as they stop encountering it, their skills drop. So for these infants, the differences between English sounds and Chinese sounds are much easier to distinguish than they are for adults. And acquiring the knowledge of those sounds is much faster. But this is all a very small part of overall English education. The one sure thing researchers can say should be obvious from the start. Having a live teacher to interact with is a much better instructive tool than mere shows, recordings and books.